As you prepare for back to school, there are two critical pieces that you can control in your day to help build safe relationships with all students. First being time, and the second being space or learning environment. Both of those things are critical to building safe relationships with all students in your classroom. First, let's talk about time. Who has it? But hey, guess what? There are three crucial parts of the day where you kind of do have time to form safe relationships. First time of the day being arrival. Use arrival time to connect with kids, ask them questions, see how their morning is going before they start the school day. What that does is these small deposits into the start of their day that go towards building safe relationships. The second part of the day is during meal time. Yeah, during breakfast or lunch. There's nothing cooler than a teacher sitting down and having a bite to eat with a student, checking in, seeing what's happening, how's their food, and maybe even talk about what favorite movies that they're watching at home. Lastly, dismissal. Dismissal might be the most critical part of the day to input into safe relationships. Use the end of the day to talk about how the day went. Reflect on what went well or maybe what didn't go so well. But then also using the end of the day to provide a clean slate for the next day. Today is over and tomorrow is a new day. That time spent with students is critical in forming safe relationships. Now let's talk about space or your learning environment. Your learning environment is a tool in creating safe relationships with students. First things first, let's talk names. Names. It's very important to have student names posted throughout the room to show that they are a part of the learning community and they belong in your classroom. You can post student names at the door, on their desks, on their cubbies, and on the walls. Next, think about how your classroom recognizes different backgrounds that your students may have. The first way you can address this is by posting student photos or photos of their family, showing that you really care about where they're coming from and that you honor their background. You can also check out books that represent a variety of cultures and backgrounds that match the students in your classroom. This shows that they are a welcomed addition to your classroom where everyone is safe, seen, and heard. The last thing you can do to utilize your classroom environment to create safe relationships is to provide classroom jobs. Jobs like the zoologist or the electrician or even the table cleaner. The reason classroom jobs are important is that it provides an opportunity for students to feel successful with their job, meaning that they can do it and they can do it on their own, be responsible for things, that's actually a lifelong learning skill, and to be a part of the learning community. Nothing gets done when it's all on one person, but when we all pitch in, the sky's the limit. So as you prepare for back to school, don't forget that time and your learning space can help you create safe relationships with all students. When you do this, students are ready to learn and engage in the learning process. Best of luck and have a great school year.